and this is the gift my nephew brought to me. And I gotta be honest, out of everything that he could have given me, I was not expecting this. Now notice that it looks like a dragon, but it's not. It is an iguana. Now I must say, these are very popular to eat in some countries, but not here in the US. However, in Florida, they are an invasive species that they are found everywhere. It is basically taking over. The government wants it out, but since my nephew is so kind, he went ahead and brought it for us to give it a try and see how it tastes. Now the first thing that he needs to be done is clean it. For that, I'm gonna spare you the footage. And this is what I was left with. An iguana ready to be dry aged for 35 days. Now the meat reminds me quite a bit of a rabbit. However, it does have a fishy smell. At the same time, I have no idea what to expect, as now the only thing left to do is to go ahead and dry age it. Once the time was up, I took it out and look. Since it was hanging from the dry ager, it dried exactly on this position. And now it even looked more like a dragon than before. Now let's face it, this iguana is the biggest one they caught. And at the same time, it does not have a lot of meat. But hopefully, it's gonna taste great. So I went ahead and started to butcher the whole thing. The legs and the arms are where the most of the meat is. And of course, the tail. It also has a little bit of meat. But again, not that much. Because once I was done, this is what I was left with. A tiny bit of meat for an extremely amount of work. And remember, we had to clean this whole thing up. Now, since I have zero experience with iguana, I know one thing that tastes amazing on any meat, and that is birria marinade. I've made it on the channel several times before. To make it, it is super easy as long as you have all of the ingredients. And like always, I'll be putting it on the description down below for you. Because the only thing I have to do now is to go ahead and fill up the bag, vacuum seal it, and let it cook sous vide at 185 degrees Fahrenheit for 24 hours. This will make the meat extremely tender. And hopefully delicious. But just in case it's not, I went ahead and made an incredible side dish for us. Now this one is very tasty. And to make it, it is super easy and here's how. I first started with some ribs and these are St. Louis cut. I went ahead and chopped them up in individual pieces. For the seasoning, I'm using Guga's rub, which is now available for you to get it. This rub is good on anything and hopefully it's gonna make these ribs taste incredible as the next thing to do is to go ahead and deep fry them. Now here's the key of deep frying ribs. You don't want your oil to be too hot. 325 degrees is the key. Deep fry them until you get a nice dark golden brown color that you're happy with. However, if things get a little bit out of hand and you get the browning too quickly, you can always finish them off in the oven. But if you keep the oil nice and low at 325 degrees Fahrenheit, you'll be good to go. That's the key of deep frying ribs. Now to go along with it, I made a simple sauce. Into a pan, I threw in some butter, followed by a good amount of garlic. Cooked them up until I got a little bit of color, added some white wine, a good amount of honey, brown sugar, white vinegar, and Korean chili flakes. Now mix everything well and let the sauce reduce to half. As once that's done, the sauce is finished. As in the end, you should be left with something like this. The only thing left to do now is to go ahead and coat our ribs with it. Shake them up like there's no tomorrow, plate up the ribs, sprinkle a little bit of parsley right on top for coloring, as the ribs is now done. It does not get any easier than that, friends. Deep fried ribs in about 30 minutes. Now that, I can guarantee you it's gonna taste great. However, I cannot say the same thing about our birria iguana, because by this time, it was fully ready. So I went ahead, open up the bag, strain all of the liquids, and this is what the meat looks like. Not very appetizing. So I went ahead, cleaned it up, shredded, and removed as many bone as possible. Because trust me when I tell you, there are quite a bit of tiny bones. But I can tell you one thing, my goal is to make this taste good. And for that, I'll be finishing it off in a taco. As I know exactly what you're thinking. I know it doesn't look that good right now, but watch this. Alright everybody, here we got our little feast today, gentlemen. <laughs> I'm looking forward more to the side dish than I am to this main dish. How do you know this is a side dish? This is the main dish. Because it's on the side. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's how you do it, Google. You got the main dish front and center, and you got these side dishes always on the on, on the sides of it. So as you guys can see, I made some incredible tacos. Appetizers. It's for a good reason, because uh, the meat today wasn't that big. <laughs> it was a little meat. And by the way, we should all thank our good friend, Angel, aka my nephew. Thank you, Angel. Now here's what I will say, like always, I've never had this before. You guys never had it either. It's gonna be like a little mystery meat. You're scaring me, Google. I know, but uh, then we'll try this 
to cleanse our palate and then we'll dig in for the au natural. Enough talking, let's dig in, please. At least I, I can find happiness in the fact that no matter how weird this is gonna taste, I'm confident that the consomme is gonna be really good. I know, it's gonna be good. I know that's gonna taste good. As a matter of fact, my mom's going for more. I'm going for more already. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm right there, I'm gonna go right after him. Enough talking, let's dig in. All right, cheers. Cheers, guys. Oh, it's breaking. Crunchy. <laughs> That's amazing though. That consomme. I know, right? That consomme can save any dish. What does it taste like to you, Leo? What happened? What is that face? Are there bones in here? <laughs> well, maybe I didn't clean it that well. I don't know. What the hell? <laughs> Sorry, Leo. <laughs> This thing is like not tender. The meat is kind of dry for me. The main thing I can feel is that the actual consistency of it is just tougher. And a little crunchy. Yeah. Mama, you ate your entire taco. Yes. Mama, I enjoyed it, everybody. That consomme is amazing. <laughs> There's no kind of meat you can put inside of a birria marinade that is not gonna taste good. The last time me and Mama were here and we ate birria. You got it. You don't have to say it like that. And it was a real big Really? And if you have not seen that video, you should check it out. And the consumer saved that one as well. Let's cleanse our palates. Please. Yes? yes. So this is a deep fried don't ribs me twice. with honey garlic sauce. It's just normal ribs, right? It's just, yeah. Nah. This is not like raccoon ribs or something, right? No, 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 no. These are just regular ribs. Let's give it a try and let you guys know deep fried ribs. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Completely different contrast in flavors mm -hmm. between the taco no. and this right here. You know what I mean? I'm so happy right now. It's still soft, but it has a little bit of a pull. It's supposed to be kind of chewy when you're taking bites so that you can keep savoring the flavor of the sauce. The sauce is garlic and sweetness and a little bit of chili. It's crunchy, it's sweet, it's a little bit of heat on it. Mm -hmm. Really nice. Are you guys ready to try this winner winner chicken dinner now? No. Yeah. I would love for you guys to get the dark part to let our audience know how it's gonna taste like. Like everybody, why? Enough talking, everybody. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Definitely still crunchy. Damn, Leo. Wow. <laughs> What's that face? It's just. It looks like you're gonna cry. I'm sorry, Leo. It's not that. <laughs> I'm remembering those beautiful rib flavors and all this in my mouth right now. So weird. I need some more tortillas over here to, <laughs> to save this because that's why everything tastes better on a taco, everybody. I can taste right away. That's still soaked in the birria sauce, so you still don't get like just the flavor of the meat itself. But that's actually a good thing because the meat has a kind of strange flavor. Yeah, and it's also very, very dry. Yeah. Yeah. It is a little bit tender, but crunchy, if that makes any sense. It tastes like a combination of like chicken and seafood. Mm. If you think it sounds odd, it tastes even odder. Well, at least for me, it feels like chicken in my mouth, but it tastes like crabs. This has to be a really weird piece of meat because if it's soaked in birria marinade and it's still dry, yeah. that's weird. You are trying out iguana. That is iguana. God <laughs> Everything's so weird over here, man. <laughs> yeah. But not only is it iguana, I also dry aged the iguana for 35 days. How big was that iguana? That iguana was humongous, everybody. Wow. I was a big boy. This is the iguana. Try it out. Let us know what it tastes like. Try it, Angel. That's dry as f <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it kind of does taste like a mix of chicken and crab. You know what? Hold on, let me try this iguana. <laughs> anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe. Remember, everything I use is always in the description. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. After years perfecting it, it's finally available for purchase. Cookies Rub. My rub has been the go-to for many of you. And now this new revamped formula is better than ever. It's amazing on beef, pork, lamb, chicken, and my favorite, burgers. This rub is what I use in 90% of everything I cook. Get yours now at shopgoogafoods.com. The link will be on the description. Cookies Rub, baby. Get yours now at shop.googafoods.com. Link will be on the description. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Take care, buddy. Bye-bye.